Hey there, I'm Tanya and welcome to our little handmade home. This is a space where you're going to find some quick and easy crafting, DIY and sewing projects designed to help you turn your house into a home created with love. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it and give it a thumbs up, which will help other people find me too. If you're new here, you'll want to go ahead and click the subscribe button and then make sure that you ring the bell next to it for the notifications for any time I post a new video. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to make a fun little decoration for St. Patrick's Day. I've got some little leprechaun cauldrons and some gold coins. I've got these fun little sparkly foam embellishments. I've got some little wood cubes. We've got our craft paint and our Mod Podge. Of course, our trusty glue gun. This cute little box that I found at the dollar store. So you can see it's got little holes, but we're actually not gonna be using the top. We're only gonna be using this piece. So let's set that aside. And then I have some a free printable for you guys to download from my blog. So just pop on over to ourlittlehandmadehome.com and check out the member vault. You can download a copy of this. It's the same printable. One is slightly larger than five inches and one is three inches, but you can print them out into whatever size you need. Today, we're gonna to be using the three inch. So we're gonna start by painting our box inside and out. Next we're going to paint the feet, but rather than painting them the way I painted the box, I like to just put on plastic gloves, sprinkle a little paint in there, and just kind of coat them. And then you have quick cleanup too. The next thing you want to do is attach the feet. So using your hot glue gun, just put few drops and attach the feet. Okay. Now for the inside, I'm going to actually be setting one of these little cauldrons right inside here, which you can see doesn't leave me a whole lot of room. So all I'm going to do is take one of these little green embellishments Put a dab of glue on it, keeping in mind that the glue will melt these, so be careful with it. And just pop it into the corner, just for a little fun. And then with the cauldron, what I've done is I have filled it with a tissue so that I don't have to put the coins all the way down. So then I can just add in my coins, let them pile up. You could use the sparkly ones like these if you wanted to, if you have them. But I like how these ones look. So those are just gonna sit inside. So we're gonna let that dry. In the meantime, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna use our Mod Podge for this step. So this is just your basic Mod Podge. Just coat the back of the box. And then we're going to take our printable and place it wherever you like. I'm just going to put it right about in the center. Press it down and let that set for a few minutes. And then of course you want to go back over top of your image with a little bit more just to set it. And remember of course it is going to dry clear. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to glue the bottom of our cauldron into the base of our little sign. So just glue around 
the edge. And press it in as far as it's going to go. In this case, it's going to stick out a little bit, but that's going to hold it steady. And for a finishing touch, because St. Patrick's is so fun, why not add a little bit more bling to it? Glue some of these gold sparkly coins on the top and a little shamrock. Because after all, leprechauns do like their gold. Now, your image on the back is going to take a little while to set, but you can see how it's coming. And there you have your little leprechaun's pot of gold, and it's the perfect little decoration for your tiered tray.